Hickok 45 here. I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> That should be five, and it was. Yeah, I mean, this is the Huckleberry. Look on the back, uh, back strap, see what that says. It's the Huckleberry from Cimarron. And I just couldn't start out any other way, right? We've all seen Tombstone. If not, something's wrong with you, the movie Tombstone. <laughs> uh, and I guess this is called the Huckleberry because it looks a little bit like what uh, Doc Holliday carried in the movie, right? Uh, I don't know exactly. I don't remember his being engraved, but uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, marketing is marketing, right? It is pretty cool looking. I thought it was stainless when I first saw it, and uh, but it's not. It's uh, nickel, according to the website and the literature and everything. It's engraved, laser engraved, uh, 45 Colt, by the way, and uh, you know, might be just what you need. Right, and when I saw it on the website, I thought, oh man, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've done one of these fire, the thunder, kind of like that, but this one's just uh, too cool not to get my hands on, take a shot or two with it, right? And it is so cool, and nickel plated and with the engraving. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna shoot it too much. I don't wanna mess up your gun, because these go back to buds, and then uh, they end up in one of your hands eventually. And uh, so, yeah, that's what it is, 45 Colt. Uh, it's got a, a fake ivory, I think they call it a polymer ivory handle. Uh, comes from special elements, or elements, special elephants raised only in Tennessee. They're polymer elephants and they have polymer uh, ivory. So, but anyway, it's just fake ivory. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, today's world, right? Uh, it's been a long time since uh, that was legal. So yeah, 45 Colt. Now I shot it a little bit and I, wow, it, it, uh, it wants to go low with these faster, uh, lighter uh, uh, federal rounds. So I got some of my hand loads out. It's, it's, not, it's not, as, not as bad. Uh, they're more the traditional 250 grain you know, lead, but I'll shoot some of both. And we do appreciate federal 45 Colt is like gold these days, isn't it? So we appreciate the assistance from them and from Bud. Uh, so should we load it again? Anything else about it you want to know? I mean, there it is. It's a, uh, gosh, I think the MSRP is like almost 900, but I've seen them for around seven-ish, 700, in that, that neighborhood. So depending on where you can find it, uh, guns are hard to find these days, I know. Uh, but, uh, you, know, you know, there it is. And uh, it, it, it's a good looking gun. I just have to say, it might just be something you want for your well, I guess it wouldn't be something you'd lay on a coffee table, right? Unless you had it chained <laughs> and plenty safe. But it really is a, a, a beautiful piece of hardware. Let's load it and shoot the thing. You want to? All right. The old John Wayne load. Actually, the old West load, the safe way to load one, is you put one in again. We have videos on that. Skip a chamber and load the next four. Check out our video. Uh, should you load five or should you load six? And then we've got one called, uh, what, how not to carry a single action? I think that's what it's called. So we have dealt with that topic over and over. And there are still a lot of people who don't take it seriously. Most of them are missing a toe or two, but uh, <laughs> it's up to them. Oh, I think I need to hit that too. too I, I can't show you any real... Uh, oh, 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 don't you attack me. Uh, any exquisite marksmanship with it uh, i don't think it feels kind of small in my hand uh, not too bad it's growing on me i didn't want to shoot it too much oh let's put one on the cowboy it'd be appropriate <laughs> i believe that was five let's make sure yes so it'll get the job done even though it's short and uh, a shorter single action, I, you know me, I'm a proponent of smaller guns, have been for a long time, like to, to show off how well even a small pistol, you know, can shoot and how accurate they are, really. Uh, it's a really a myth that smaller handguns are not accurate, and sometimes even that they're so impossible to shoot well. Well, with single actions, I, I do have a little harder time. You get down to a shorter barrel. Maybe it's because most of the time I'm shooting duelists with one hand, and that makes it even more uh, challenging. 
but a four and three quarter inch Colt single action or Ruger or whatever, they're just harder to hit with than a five and a half inch or a, a seven and a half inch. They, they just really are. Uh, I mean, you can shoot them just as well. You just have to you know, practice. But it, whereas if I take a Glock 17, a Glock 19, a Glock uh, 26, you know, different barrel lengths, for you, if you don't know the model numbers, it's just shorter, medium length and longer length barrel. On those, and start popping around here, I, you know, I'm not sure which one I could shoot the, the best. You know, there's not as much difference, I think, as with a single action sometimes, okay? That's just me, though. That may not be your experience. <laughs> Now with the short barrel again, maybe I'll link to the Thunderer, which was a similar configuration, right? Uh, this one mostly is the same, just cosmetically different. Uh, and because uh, there might be some information I gave you in that about these things and uh, how they operate. I'll tell you one thing, I believe I forgot to point out in the other, uh, the Thunderer, which is the same configuration. And that is, we're, we're clear. And that is that, uh, it's on half cock, so that's where I would take the cylinder out if I was wanting to clean everything. You do run into an issue with the uh, the base pin will not come out. It runs, it hits the ejector rod handle up there. It hits that, okay? Now, first time I realized that, on the other one, I thought, uh oh duh, how do you get the cylinder? Well, you, you have to push this down, bring it in, and then it's a little awkward, but you, you gotta push this pin. You gotta bring your base pin out and uh, take it out while you're holding this down. Okay, because it's in the way if you don't have it back here. So that's just that's just the price you pay for a three and a half inch barrel. Okay, the other price you pay, you saw me struggling, struggling a little more than normally, getting the brass out, uh, and that's old brass, some of that of mine especially. But it's because you have a shorter ejector uh, rod, right? Yeah, it's shorter. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, if I had a four and three quarter inch barrel the ejector rod would be almost that length, wouldn't it? So it makes a difference. All right, let's load it up again. Do anything else about it that I didn't tell you? This is a little hotter stuff. I don't want to damage your gun. Well, I wouldn't damage it, but I mean, just in terms of shoot it a lot and, and uh, put a lot of pressure on it, thousands of rounds, put my ears on before I cock that back. Again, with the cowboy load, when you do if you load it properly, and you pull the hammer back, it's gonna come down on an empty chamber. See this? Click. All right. Let's put one on the paper over here. It really feels good in the hand. It's a handy little, uh, <laughs> it's like the little sheriff's model. These are, uh, there's something appealing about these, uh, I'll have to say. Maybe I can smoke some pot first. That smoked it. Let's smoke another one. No, that's the shot low. How about the target? Boom. I see it. And uh, we'd want to take a couple shots. I'll shoot it one more time. And uh, there might be something I think. Yeah, it really looks like stainless to me. It really does. If I'm telling you wrong, uh, I'm sorry. But everywhere I've read about it, it's a, it's a nickel. So I am assuming it's nickel. It's, it is amazing. It's not that I'm so stupid. Well, I might be, but uh, that too. But what they can do with stainless these days in terms of polishing it, you see these cases will come out a little easier probably, although they're pretty warm. Uh, you know, time you polish up uh, stainless, like the new Python, Colt Python, that thing looks like nickel. Yeah. And so it is hard to tell sometimes. You don't have to be a dummy to not know the difference, right? So let's load up and shoot him one more time, one more round. Uh, you know, I meant to bring out one of my, my, one of my long uh, single action Colts just to lay, and lay it side by side. So you'll just have to envision it since I didn't do that. So if I had, <laughs> and everybody knows this, but if I had one of my, uh, my seven and a half inch barreled Colt with the big stag handles on it, grip or whatever, the Davy Colt, and laid it right beside that, it would look like a totally different gun almost, uh, other than the colors and everything, but the grip is bigger and the barrel comes out about to here and all that sort of thing. But you realize that the uh, this part of the gun, the action, the cylinder, the hammer, all that is pretty much exactly the same. You know? So 
just to show another illustration of what a longer barrel or a different grip you know does to a firearm makes it look like a different firearm okay well let's put a couple more in here five to be exact cowboy load and i know when you're at the range you could load six uh, anybody that's done cowboy action shooting has kind of gotten into mode of loading five though you, you typically just want to stay with that it's a good habit all right now the old for some of the old percussion models had a uh, a little notch between the chambers where you could let the hammer down between the chambers without messing up the action and it would stay there i guess i ought to try to throw one at the gong just uh for fun i've not shot it over there on the hill yet i'll need to hold up on it Held up a little higher and got it. All right, now my life is complete. I hit the gong with this thing. What else do I want to hit with it? How about another two liter right there lurking on top of that tree? <laughs> and it's just as not christened if it hadn't hit a bowling pin. That should be it. Yep, that's it. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the huckleberry. And uh, I would highly recommend if for some reason you've been living in a cave or you've been spending all your time with black rifles, that was not a racist comment, polymer firearms, okay? Like AR-15s, Glocks, I got some on the table over there, uh, M&Ps, so all of the, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been spending all your time with polymer firearms, modern firearms, and you have not yet seen uh, a tombstone the movie tombstone uh there's a big gap in your education okay and that's why huckleberry doesn't mean anything to you maybe so just check that movie out and you'll see you'll see the relevance there so anyway the uh cimarron huckleberry pretty cool revolver it, it really is and uh anybody that likes western firearms at all this is uh, it's pretty nifty so appreciate y'all coming out we'll see you later life is good Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.